After Pearl Harbor and 9-11, the US administration looked at what went wrong to learn from its mistakes in the attacks on the Twin Towers on the 11th of September 2001. Over 3,000 people died in one fell swoop. The novel coronavirus has caused over 55,000 deaths in the US, exceeding those of 9-11 by several magnitudes. House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff is proposing a post 9-11 style commission to provide a full accounting of the Trump administration's handling of the pandemic in America. The measure, co-sponsored by 14 other Democrats on the panel, would establish a 25-member commission. The panel would be given sweeping authority to conduct a comprehensive 18-month investigation with legal power to prosecute. As COVID-19 sweeps across the US, a new independent commission is best suited to look into how America couldn't contain a disease that it knew was coming. A former 9-11 commission member says the move isn't them looking for a political fight. No commission can undo the damage already done, no matter how much empowered it may be. What it can do, however, is to formulate a more efficient response system so that such a disaster isn't repeated again. The panel's power to prosecute will also render swift punishments, especially to those who would willingly jeopardize people's lives, than to temper their reactionary politics in context. These developments will be closely tracked by We On World Is One in the weeks to come. Now, earlier we were joined by the national security reporter of the Washington Post, Greg Miller, live from Bethesda, Maryland. Listen in to his comments. Well, I think it's uh, too early to answer some of those questions. It's not clear yet that, um, you know, that there will, that this commission will become a reality. Uh, I think that will take several months uh, for us to figure out in the United States right now. It's been proposed and called for by an influential member of Congress. Uh, but, of course, President Trump has um, Republican allies in the Senate who would probably rather not see an investigation of this sort. If it comes, and I think there's a, still a good chance that we will have some kind of commission or investigation in the United States, then I think one of the things that commission will look at very closely is what did the president know and when? When was he told certain information about the coronavirus and uh, the the daily briefs that U.S. intelligence agencies prepare for him will become very, very important for that kind of inquiry. They will want to look at what was included in those briefings, uh, when were they uh, relayed to the White House, and did the president even bother to read them? So what our story today reports, and this is new information, is that the coronavirus, the threat of it, the spread of it, was mentioned in at least 12 uh, briefings that were uh, brought to the prepared for the president in January and February. The first of these came in very early January, and it spoke of an outbreak in China, uh, raised concerns about the Chinese possibly suppressing information about this outbreak. Um, but that that this was uh, a, an important marker. It indicates that the president uh, was informed about this very, very early on, much earlier than the public, of course, knew that this was a serious threat. And, and those warnings continued, uh, you know, deep into um, February and into March, at a time when the president continued to really downplay the virus. Even, even into very late in February and early March, he was saying things like, there are only 15 cases in the United States, it's going to go down to zero, it will all go away like a miracle. It's just like the flu. Nothing is, nothing, this is, doesn't pose a danger to anybody. And of course, as you just said, there are now a million people in the United States infected with this. It didn't go down to zero. Uh, 